This video is for the exercise Type Mass Tool, Part 2, Vertical Type Mass. And this is an example of what the final project or exercise should look like. Now, for this project, we need to get the Fall Colors 2 JPEG. So let's do that. Now, we're at, we need to take a copy of this image. We'll select it, Control-A, and Copy, Control-C. And since we won't require it any longer, we can just close this file. Step three asks us, asks us to create a new document. Let's do that. We're going to name this file Fall Text. And it asks to choose the preset photo. And we want the size to be 5 by 7 portrait and resolution 96. So we'll type in 96 and then OK. And then we'll just zoom in a little bit. There we go. In step four, we want to select our vertical type mass tool from the toolbar. So let's do that. This one. And then now we're going to set the font and the font size through the character palette, which is right here. So it will ask us to choose the font Cooper Standard. So I'm just going to type in CO and Cooper, and the Cooper Standard right here. And the font size is to be set at 120. And also the tracking. At a, at a minus 100. Oops. Yes, there we go. And now it says to place at the top of the document. We in full caps type the word fall. Like that. Good. So I'm just going to reposition it a little bit, a little more centered. There you go. And then I will accept or click on the commit any current edits but, uh, check mark. There we go. And there we have our selection outline in the, the, in, in the letters that we chose. Now step seven, we're going to paste the image that we copied in step two to the within the outline. So we go to edit, paste special, paste into, and there we go. Now we want to maybe move or change or make some uh, some changes to the image. So we'll make sure that we have our image um, thumbnail selected on this layer. And control T will allow us to do the free Transform. So if we want to enlarge in the picture a little bit to uh, make sure all the trees appear in the lettering. There we go. And once we're happy with our selection, um, you can move you can move your picture around to you know whatever um, looks best for you. Once you're happy, we'll accept those changes. So we check on click on the check mark. Step 9 and 10, we're going to add some effects to our text. And for that, we're going to have to select the text mask thumbnail. So we'll just click on that. And this white border that's around shows or indicates to us that we have our text mask selected. The first effect that we are going to add is a stroke. So let us go to the add a layer style icon and choose stroke. going to move this to the side because I'm going to demonstrate something. So it asks that we set on the structure that we set the size at three. In this case, mine is already set at three. Then it asks us to choose or to change the color by clicking in the, um, in the lettering so that we can pick up a color from 
from the uh, image that's behind. But when we click, oh, no matter where I click, I'm only getting white. If I click on the outside, I get black. And that's because we're on the mask uh, portion of this layer, the text mask, and there is only white and black available. So for this, for this step, um, we won't be able to choose a color um, by the instruction in, par in um, step nine. So just choose a, create a, just choose a color of your own from the, the color palette here that uh, matches the fall or that you like. Um, as you choose a color, look at your color and see what might suit you. I think I like this little darker brownie red. I'm going to say OK to this color. OK. And then I'm going to leave my style layer style box open because then we're asked to add two more um, effects. We're going to add the bevel and emboss layer. And it's under the, and we're going to click on the word bevel and emboss because we're going to make a change to that. Under the style, under structure and style, we're going to choose emboss. And then uh, the next style we're going to add is the drop shadow. So we just click on that and accept the default settings. And then we'll say OK. And in step 11, we're going to type our name at the bottom of the word fall. So let us choose our text tool. We need the, the horizontal text tool or horizontal type tool. And it asks us to make some changes. We need to go to Arial. And we're going to set the size at 20 and the tracking at minus 5. There we go. And then we'll type our name at the bottom. And I can reposition this, center it under. The word fall. Okay, once I'm happy with that, I can accept it. The next step, we're going to add a background color. And once again, we'll choose the eyedrop uh, tool and click on our background and get a color that you that you like. A little more yellowy color, and then make sure that the background layer is selected. And in this case, it asks to that we use the alt and backspace to do the filling. So let's try that. There we go. And there, what that does is um, when you use alt and backspace, is um, use the foreground color to fill um, the space that we have selected. The next step, step 13, we are going to add um, a brush effect with our brush. Um, we're going to click on the brush tool and then from the preset or default um, brushes, we're going to select the maple leaf. So we'll just scroll through until we find the maple leaf and here it is. Scattered maple leaf, we'll choose that. And then we're going to scatter it on the background. And make sure that your background la layer is selected. So we can put it on as thick or as light in areas as we want. There we go. Very good. Looking good. Then in the final step, we're going to crop the excessive background um, space. So let's do that. Mm 
and accept. And there we go, completed.